Greetings, fellow movie geeks, geeks of all ages. I'm your host, I'm Vernon Kidd. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to another review. Like I said, guys, I'm trying my best to pump these reviews out as fast as I can uh, and give my two cents in movies. And the next movie that I saw this summer uh, was. Uh, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. First of all, guys, look, I'm a I'm a huge Tom Cruise fan. Been that way since Top Gun. <laughs> so uh, I'm a big supporter of Mr. Cruise, um, and I always am. And with the Mission Impossible series, I've had my favorites and I have my less favorites. I've I wasn't the I've seen them all, and if I was to rank them. Uh, two would be probably the lowest at the lowest. Uh, but Rogue Nation. Um, first of all, I'm a huge spy, thriller, espionage fan. I love movies like this. I love movies that deal with spies and you know factions, shadow shadow agencies that kind of work in between. That's why I'm a huge fan of the the, the Bourne series whether it's the movies or the books and with this movie this truly is Tom Cruise's baby let's put it right out there uh, Tom Cruise as Ethan Hawke never disappoints me never he never does um, in this movie the concept is, is that basically Mr. Cruise's character uh, is pretty much belief in belief that there is a group called the syndicate that is like a that deals with all kinds of things um, and he actually gets to meet that man said man said leader of the syndicate Solomon Kane um, yeah Solomon Kane yeah um, creepy looking motherfucker I'm not gonna lie I'd, the actor who played him uh, was kind of creepy. You know, he had this really creepy voice, too. I was like, ugh. Uh, but almost in a sense, I liked how this movie flowed. It flowed more like, even though Ethan is right, it also felt like, could Ethan be wrong, in a sense, in terms of, is he becoming too obsessed? Has he been too into deep into the world that he occupies and he's kind of losing it in a sense and that's kind of how uh, Alec Baldwin's character who's the head of the CIA you know kind of looks at it and that he doesn't really agree with how they, they do their mess especially after the last movie um, so you know Ghost Protocol there's kind of there is essence of that in there Jeremy Renner as Bram is still great and Simon Pegg uh, oh man, Simon Pegg is he, Simon Pegg is just always always uh, just put a smile on your face you know it, it, it truly he, he truly just just he just makes you laugh like when he's in he, when he's in a scene he truly makes you just laugh like here's the action part and then here's the funny part and then when Simon here, yeah you know it's gonna get funny he's just gonna lay some joke and then make it ha ha laugh a little bit but then it gets he gets a little bit serious too you know and that's the one thing about Simon Peck that I love uh, and I thought he did a, a great job you know as as his character uh, which is uh, Benji yeah, Benji, Benji, ben, ben, Benji. I'm not, yeah, Benji, right? Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, Benji. Um, Rebecca Ferguson's character, uh, Elsa. Man, she was good. I, I, I respect her even more. I, res I loved her character. Like she showcased, like you're not the only one, Ethan. That's a badass. Like she was bad. I was loving her character, Elsa, and. It was great to see Luther, aka Ving Rain's character, come back and have more of a prominent role. 
which I liked. You know, I was glad to see they brought Ving Rhames' character back. You know, I, I liked that. I was like, yeah, like, why is this character not back? Even though he's kind of retired, he's kind of fallen, but I love how he stated to, to Brannigan, a.k.a. Uh, Jeremy Renner's character. He was like, look, I'm not here for you. I don't know you. I'm here for Ethan. And if I find out that you guys are, especially, then just know that I'm coming after you. Now, that I like that. Like, true loyalty, I really enjoyed. The, the fight scenes were great. The action scenes are always great. And you know there's going to be some big stunt that Mr. Cruz does do. I mean, he does these stunts and it's just like, Mr. Cruz is quote-unquote the American Jackie Chan. Let's just put it like that. He does his stunts, and he can afford to do them, and he is, you know, it's just like, most of the time, you know, you, you wouldn't take the risk, but he, he, he can, and it's just like, how does he do that? Like, you know, why does he do it? He doesn't, does he need to do it? And, you know, stuff like that. It's just, but he does it. The chase scenes, the, 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 the chase scene in, uh, where were they in, uh, I think they were in with Benji and and uh, Benji and uh, Ethan. That was great. That was fun. Uh, I love the Brandon can see and and Luther. They're like, man, you see, you catch up. See, that's why you shouldn't have taken his. You took the you took the Jeep. You took the four by four. I told you you go take that. That was funny. And then when it got to the the motorcycle scene, which was great too, you know. And once again, like I said, Mr. Cruz does his thing, no problem. Um, but like I said, this, I liked how they played off, like, is, the way I looked at it, especially in this movie, is like, I really played off the fact that, is Ethan kind of losing it, is he, you know, and how, is people really going to trust him, and this, this movie also played on the, the fact of trust, and especially when we find out what, how the syndicate was formed, and that's some, that was some scary shit right there, especially for me, it's like, yeah, look at that. Somebody in said government actually did this. However, it was never approved, so it was like a ghost. They were ghosts. They they worked outside of the... And I say said because I really don't want to put what nation it is that's allowed to... Because I have utmost respect for that nation. Um, but, yeah, it was really interesting to see that. And, and, it, and when it happened, you know, I saw I'm just like, you motherfucker. I was just like, I can't believe this, but I fucking loved how Ethan caught Solomon. I loved it. I loved it. It was, it was almost like a shot of irony because how Solomon caught Ethan in the beginning of the movie when Solomon killed, uh, killed uh, Ethan's like, help or secretary and just watched just shot her while Ethan watched and he couldn't do anything I loved how they caught him and I love it. it was like a cat and mouse game and it, and it looked like it was almost as if yeah Solomon is the cat run chasing the mouse being Ethan and no it's not that way it was Ethan that was really the predator wow solomon was the prey and the way they caught it i loved it and it was almost like checkmate it was like gotcha and I, I i remember getting i remember even said got you motherfucker i was like got you son of a bitch like yeah and i loved it i, I thought it was great i i thought that really was the was, was one of the highlights for me especially of just showing like yeah got me he, he got you you motherfucker and um it was good. This, you know, like I said, you know, you take what you can with these movies, with so many movies that came out this summer that were quote unquote blockbusters. You know, it was good to see that this movie was able to still give us something to enjoy besides said superhero movies and stuff like that. Because sometimes I think that's we kind of get out of that norm that you know, oh yeah, what's the next superhero movie? But of course you're gonna love that, and don't get me wrong, I love that too. But I also I'm always looking for a good thriller, a good drama, or a good action spy adventure movie, and this gave it to me. You know, this truly is kind of 
the James Bondish of for us, you know, this, you know, like I said, but other than that, like I said, yes, this is Tom Cruise's baby, and you know, he even said there's a, there's another one coming out, so it's just like, okay, Mr. Cruise, how many are you gonna make of these? Like, when's Ethan gonna take a break? Like, okay, that's it. There's gotta be a time where this guy is gonna just like, okay, take a break. But if he can, if they can keep bringing it and keep the good storytelling and keep the the essence and keep the the you know you're really thinking like okay who's the bad guy who's real who's this who's that blah 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 then I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to follow the the saga that is Mission Impossible um, so but you know if it if you start seeing like the you know the the storyline starting to kind of get overlapping in terms of like we've kind of seen this already before like you know, why but you know it is what it is um, and as always like I like to do in my reviews this movie oh, damn it, move on. okay this uh, there it is movie Mission Impossible Rogue Nation uh, the budget for this movie was one hundred and fifty million. That was the budget. Box office took in f over four hundred mil. You talk about doubled, tripled its budget. Perfect. And uh, I'm hoping to see more. I'm hoping you know, we, Jeremy Renner still comes back. We see Alec Baldwin. Could, I love me some Alec Baldwin too. You know, he's probably out of all the Baldwin brothers, he's my favorite. Um, and you know, he's the new secretary. It was funny, uh, but keep Simon Pegg around. I'd like to see Ving Rains come back maybe again. Um, maybe he gets back into the game because he was kind of retired. I definitely think. I really I thought Elsa was gonna join, you know the IMF I thought they I thought she was going to join them at the end but she didn't she kind of got out of the game you know because she was kind of I wouldn't say in too deep but she she was a MI6 agent in in deep with Solomon Kane trying to get into the, she was in the syndicate trying to reach higher up and you know her superior was a dick and and he, yeah he turned out to be you, well, you know what I mean, especially if you've seen the movie. Don't want to spoil everything, especially if nobody's ever seen it. But Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation, Tom Cruise, still doing his thing. Love it. Thought it was great. And uh, no real complaints. No real complaints at all. But it's just like I look at it from this point of view, guys. If he can still keep doing them, let him do it. I mean, he is getting up there. I mean, he, Tom, Mr. Cruz is in his 50s, but he don't be looking his age. You know, he doesn't look his age. He probably, man, and from the likes of some of this stuff, it really doesn't look like he, he, uh, feels his age either. I mean, he, he's, he's Tom Cruise. You know, it's just like, you know, <laughs> let him be. You know, if he could keep doing, I mean, nobody complains with, you know, Clint Eastwood was still doing like these action movies in his age. It's Clint Eastwood. It's Tom Cruise. Let him do it. If you enjoy him. If you want to keep enjoying him, just let him be. If you don't, you don't. But uh, I enjoyed it very much. And uh, yeah, very much. I got nothing more to say, guys. I put in my my uh, 14 minutes or 14 cents. Of what I enjoyed. Other than that, guys, you guys tell me. If you saw the movie, tell me if you liked it. Did you hate it? Or are you like me? You did enjoy it. Rogue Nation. But other than that, this is Mom Vernon Kid. Please hit that subscribe button. I promise you, trust in me, and I will entertain you the best I can. I give you a full circle of things. It's not just all comics but it's like my intro says even though I probably won't put the intro on this one 
probably. Yeah, but welcome to my world. And uh, I'll take care. All right, your boy. Peace.